Hello, everyone. And welcome to What's Old Saturday. Yes, welcome uh, to What's Old Saturday it's for the, the week. weekend. For the week of the 19th through the 25th. I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Yeah, I hope everybody had fun. We did. We played we some, like, time. new Oh my god, game. it was called Essence. It was so much fun. Well, you said I didn't somebody play. I played. I jumped right in because I'm a joiner. You like pick a person to go out of the room and then everybody picks a person to guess and you have to give like vague character descriptions That's of the person you're trying to guess. It was really fun. I had a really good time. On Thanksgiving we had a haul video go up, which I hope you guys enjoyed. Unfortunately we didn't premiere it because we were at a Thanksgiving. <laughs> we were a little preoccupied. Dinner. Okay. This next week coming up, we finally have the Depop video that we've talked about, I feel like, for a while now. So it's finally. Funny. Finally we have that coming up and you can still leave questions below. We have not film that or anything we're gonna film no. that tomorrow and ryan's gonna really take control of that one yes i absolutely am oh it's gonna be so much i fun. still i don't think i had any depop sales this week i had like 10 but they were all you know bread and butter i didn't really I have, have anything of note for any platform i did have a few sales on ebay and i had a few on mercari but like meh meh Nothing too great. Mm -hmm. So like I said, this week of sales covers the 19th through the 25th, but like last week, before we jump into our sales, oh. we would like to give the Valentine shout out, closet shout out we for the week. We think of like a catchy name. I know, I was going to say, not just the awkward like, yay. This. We'll think of it. <laughs> but this week's shout out is at 99 cent ninja. And her name is Jennifer. So hello, Jennifer, Jennifer. and thank you for being uh, a Valentine. This is a little peek at what Jennifer's closet looked like. Jennifer has a Ninja, very cute closet. Also known as the Stitch Witch, which... I love that name. Love. Oh, so love. cute. Let's get into the sales. Something. So like I said, one more time, this week covers the 19th through the 25th. So let's <laughs> jump into the sales. And we I will... a very uneventful week, I will, can't tell. Yeah. We have no announcements. <clears throat> no. We did our little shout out. That's kind of This, is, this it. is the least we've ever had to say to you guys. <laughs> it's been a very like <laughs> hectic, busy, yeah, tiring. but like not on the internet week. No, you know, like we've done like decorating and we're getting stuff put up in the house, and, and we like haven't been on the computer. I at feel all. like I'm still having a hard time getting used to the like time change. Oh my that god, is I'm still, still just tired like all the making time. me on Thanksgiving. We all went to bed at like, <laughs> but like it was funny because so we left at like six, <laughs> seven ish, and everybody was already just like, oh, good night, bye, yeah, like yawning as we were all leaving. Oh my god. Yeah. Our family eats, like, personally in this household, like, late. Like, 9 o'clock at night. Thanksgiving is really So good. then on Thanksgiving, when we eat dinner at, like, 2 o'clock or 3, we're all just like, Everybody's... all right, bedtime at, like, 5. Yeah, we were just like, well, good night, everybody. This has been fun. See <laughs> <Yeah>. you tomorrow. <laughs> So, this week was quite uneventful on Posh as well. Honestly, there just wasn't too much going on. Do you want to share your Depop, Depop sale, sale? I would love to. So, this Depop sale kind of came out of nowhere, but I was very excited about it. It was this Coach Vintage 9978 side pack black leather crossbody bottle bag. I listed at 160. The girl said, could you do 130? And I, of course, said yes, because this was a bins fine. And she paid, like, $10 in shipping for this as well. So, ah. I do have a handful of vintage coach bags, so maybe I have to put them on Depop. Yes, put I them on Depop. I didn't know that that was a put thing. Put the trendy ones on Depop. So starting off the Poshmark week with the 19th, I had four sales on the 19th. I didn't have any. Hmm. My first sale was a Lululemon bundle, which I feel like I have not sold Lululemon nor found Lululemon. I like haven't really minute. found any in like, a, it's been a while. I think our bins no, are, I'm just kidding. I found a skirt a couple weeks ago. I think our bins are like really starting to try to like pick out the stuff that they like, which is strictly Lulu. So this bundle was Lululemon double waist straight leg tights and <laughs> I typed Lila Lemon. Lila Lemon. Lila Lemon. Healthy heart heathered pullover hoodie. <laughs> So like Mike when he breathes. <laughs> this bundle together sold for $70 and I get 56 which I did just get that hoodie in the bin, so that's great. And the pants had been sitting in a, not death pile, but like forgotten pile. I think they were just in my leggings pile, but it's they were not. Kind of like the listed. island for Miss the Toys, but yes, it's for clothes exactly. that we just don't want to deal with. Then on the 19th, I sold this pair of dog tapestry printed mini plus size skirt. Not a pair, I don't know why I said this pair of. Debbie's going, to, Debbie's going to jail. <laughs> so this me. this sold for seventeen. I get ten ninety two. There were no tags in it whatsoever, so I don't know what brand that came from. It was cute though. It was cute. Then I sold the Ann Taylor tweed ruffle long coat, and like I said, this was like 
a total blogger favorite, which is really interesting. Sold for 44 and I get 32.52. And then last on the 19th, I sold this pair of Good American Good Flare trouser jeans. Sold for 50 and I get 40. I can't sell Good American for that much anymore. Most of the time. Good American doesn't do good anymore. No, she doesn't. <laughs> it used to be that like the jeans did good, but the like clothes and athletic was like, eh. And now it's just kind of everything. And talk is kind of meh. I've never tried the shoes. Maybe. No, I've never had a pair of the so shoes before. So I don't know, but. TBD. And these, like these should do fantastic. Like flared bootcut jeans have been in, but. They were very cute. Finally, they sold at least. Then on the 20th, I had three. I had two. My first sale went to Paula. So hello, Paula. Paula, Paula and her husband sent Ryan the spirit jersey. That, um, <gasps> oh, I wore it the other day. I told oh, Paula, I, love I was like, that jersey. he has worn that shirt more than like any shirt. Oh, I wear it all the time. Thank you guys. Yeah. Much appreciated. Oh, I love so, it. So Paula popped Paula. into my closet and she, <laughs> and she got a bundle of this Anthropology Lily's Closet Metallic Star sweater that was cute so sweater. cute. That was a Finn's find. And then Bowden Polka Dot Long Sleeve Dress. And together she got these for 70 with a shipping discount. So I get 53 32 so thank you paula and thank you once again for the spirit jersey oh my god i'm obsessed with that i wear it all the time thank yeah. you then christina popped into my closet and christina snatched the beautiful johnny oh. was la rare embroidered floral fanny packs so cute there were not many johnny was fanny packs online and of the ones that there were they were like all different pattern there was like mm. one pattern that was maybe a little more common but i couldn't find this one anywhere sold for 120 i get 96 so thank you very much christina and last on the 20th was this Madewell Madison kimono style ribbed sweater that sold for 35 and I get 28. Cute. My first on the 20th was this North Face brown down filled 55. <laughs> oh. It was a brown oh. down oh. coat, not I like I thought that was like down. a style, man. No. Um, it was a 550 quilted little jacket. Sold full price for $60 and I make $48. I don't know what any of those numbers mean to be completely honest. And then my next on the 20th was this Wild Fox Red Holiday list early morning. It had like make memories, like rosy cheeks, like hot cider, like fall in a new tree, like all that kind of higgity piggity holiday nonsense. Sold for $36 and I make $26.12. Then on the 21st, I had four. I didn't have any. <laughs> when I say slow week, slow week. Yeah. And my first sale went to another Christina. This is a different Christina. Oh, I'm sad to And see this go. item is a gift for her mother. So if Christina's mom is watching, Christina's close mom, you better not your be. eyes and shut your ears. <laughs> shut your eyes and cover your eyes. It was this amazing, fantastic, spectacular, never done before, groundbreaking, earth shattering. Free People and Levi's Multicolor Rug Poncho Trucker jacket and this was from levi's made and crafted oh. i have had this beauty for a long long time so i'm happy to see it like move on and get use versus just be in a storage unit she got this for 125 dollars, and i get 100 but this thing was stunning so cute. Oh, it was back beautiful. in the day i actually paid up quite a lot for this so i honestly probably am not making very much money but i'm okay. just so happy it's going to be used now instead of just stored sitting in a storage <clears throat> unit yeah then I sold this Rails Percy star print wool sweater. So a lot of star sweaters this week. Star. Sold for 35, I get 28. And then I sold this vintage leather oxblood full zip fall jacket. Sold for 30 and I get 24. It was a really pretty like oh, purple leather, leather jacket. Was so cute. Yeah. Oh. And last on the 21st was the Vince Camuto. Vince Camuto. Vince Camuto Arendini High Suede Boots. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and these sold for 30 and I get 24, but they were like new. And honestly, Vince Camuto stuff is like a good brand. If it's brand, real you know? leather and it's like a knee high boot and it's in the bins, they do sure. they do sell quick. Pick so them up. then on the 22nd, I had one. I had two. My one was this pair of a Goldie Lana Jean vintage distress jeans. Yes. And these sold for $65 and I get $52. I like a gold dance. And I have oh, them priced at like 120 but they aren't doing that. That's okay. The brand, I don't think they're doing like as good as they it's used a little to be. Similar like to back American, in the day. Where like two years ago. Some of them are really cute though. Two years ago it'd be like money, but mm -hmm. now it's now like, it's like, mm. it's like Okay. Some money. <laughs> okay, my first on the 22nd was this Giorgio Armani. This was kind of an exciting sale. Italian matching navy blue pinstripe suit. This was a bins find when I found like that massive cart full of things. This was in it and it was so nice. It sold for $95 and I make 76, which I thought was a very good sale. Then I sold this brand new Melville gray striped long sleeve sweater. It sold for 25 and I make 20. On the 23rd, I had one. I had one too. It was really sad. One or two. 
One. I had one, two. Three. Uh-huh. <laughs> So my only sale on the 23rd was the Aritzia Wilfred Leopard Blanket oh. XL Scarf. And <laughs> on the website, it literally said, use it as a scarf, use it as a poncho, use it as a blanket. So, like, you can Perfect. literally use it as a blanket. I would use it as a blanket. Sold for 40 and I get 32 That was a great bins find, and that went that very fast. Good. My one and only on the 23rd was this pair of J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, Vintage Red, Y2K, Low Rise, Sweatpants, and they sold for $20. And I make 16. And out with those pants went your dignity. Yep. Out with the ego. <laughs> so I have to mark them sold on. So the then on the 24th, I had one once again. I had two. And it was some black denim again. Mother the Swooner black slim jeans. And these sold for $71. And I get That's pretty good for Mother's 54 jeans. 5412. I know. And these were just like black skinny jeans. I was kind of surprised to get that sale so it was the week of star print sweaters and black denim and red low rise velour track pants my first on the 24th came from the haul that we put up on thursday it was the laurel birch vintage 1980s neon cat jacket sold full price for 50 dollars. like immediately the minute i listed it on poshmark and her username was lady. like the diamond cat lady oh, yeah. i thought it was real cute so that i made 40 bucks off of that which is like a third of my bins haul which is pretty good you're gonna go to your bingo with your teacher friend and You'll see a woman wearing that jacket. <laughs> so. I hope so. Then I sold this Peter Millar men's Mulane. Mulane fleece quarter zip little jackety thing. Peter Millar is a really expensive like men's like golf brand, like leisure brand, if you didn't know. Kind of in like the same vein as like Tommy Bahama. Similar price ranges. Uh it sold for thirty-six dollars and I make twenty-six twelve. Then, the last day of What's Sold Saturday, the 25th, I had three. I had four. I wish that this video was longer for you guys. I know. It just Sorry. wasn't a good sales week. So, unfortunately, it just isn't. It's gonna be a short one. Enjoy, enjoy your family yeah. if they're still here. <laughs> we'll leave you alone. So, my first sale was the Free People Easy Street Mock Neck Ribbed it's Sweater. It's hard to see her go. So, if you remember in the video, the Family Bins Bash 2.0 that happened this last Tuesday, mm -hmm. I found Ryan's favorite sweater. And but I in that, like, color block, it was, like, orange, tan, and white. It was like gray, maroon, and like a peach color. Yeah. And I kept it. And I, I knew Ryan would be jealous of it. And I knew he would try to steal it from me. So, and of I course, right when I got home, he tried to steal it from me. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you have to... First off, I could get good money from this. Mm -hmm. Second off, you have a trillion. I only have like five. Trillion. Trillion of them. <laughs> I don't have that many. I got rid of a lot of them. So, I was like, if you want this one, you owe me one of the other ones. Because... They're all worth money. I don't really care which one I sell, but... You got the blue one. Yeah. It's just the one I didn't wear that So most. this was, long story short, this was right. Sold for 70. I get 56. It's a very popular sale. They do so good still. I love yes. them. And they, that's something that, like, hasn't been knocked off yet by, like, Target and everywhere. Shockingly, no. But when Target does start usually knocking them they, off with some of the cute ones... Usually they always catch on to the, like, super trendy mm -hmm. free people styles, and they, like, directly knock them off. Which but. is really funny that they haven't. Then I sold my first Chicorines. Chicorines. It was this Chicorine. <laughs> Bonnie Fringe Tweed Multicolor Bonnie. Jacket. This sold... This was adorable. ...in, like, 20 minutes. It's right there. Chicorines. 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 Here she right is. here. Sold for twenty nine, I get twenty three twenty. I just thought it was cute. I mean, it is really cute. Looks like anthro e in my She's opinion. really cute. And I thought I'd try it, and yeah. yeah, it worked. Then I sold this Dolls Kill Tic Tac marble printed ruched top, and it is not the brand does not spell like the app Tic Tac. Sold for twenty six, I get twenty eighty. That Sad. was the big finale on my week, right Woo! there. <laughs> yeah, I need one of those like noise things. Okay, so my first on the 25th was a bundle that went to the lovely Miss Greta. She got a pair of Lauren Moshi really cute skull eye black tear cloth jogger pants and one of the adorable vintage by 2K Dragon Tails backpacks that had Oregon Cassie on it. So cute. She got the bundle for $61 and I make $48.80. Thank you, Greta. Then I sold this Patricia Nash brown leather fur saddlebag. Sold for $42. I make $33.60. Then I sold from that haul on Thursday as well the vintage 1980s vibrant kid core v neck sweater. It sold for $30 minus a shipping discount. I make $21.32. And my last on the 25th was the Tory Burch cream navy logo removable collar cuff set. Sold for $70. I make $56. I feel like we're going to get a lot of comments that say, go, they're giving us nothing very much yeah i'm sorry like next is, week hopefully i will is, be able to oh i won't be here next this week this is low energy low sales i know i won't be here next week it's my dad's birthday and he doesn't watch any of these videos but todd if you're watching don't pay attention and i'm going down to do
It'll be a good time. It'll be yeah. fun. Ryan's putting the whole, like, week of YouTube it's, on me. Because I also probably will be doing the haul. Yeah, I one. work all four days this week. Look what he's... Well, he's abandoning there's us. five days in a week, but I'll go down to Des Moines on Friday. My gross for this week, I didn't even break a thousand, which is pretty shameful. Mm -hmm. 927. Mine was 485. I know. And $500 I usually never do. Shoe sales. sales. What is going on? And my <laughs> you look like that girl who like <laughs> was seven hundred forty one and sixty cents. Mine was three eighty eight, and that's literally all that we. That's all that we got. That was a very small Please week. Please like, comment, let share, and subscribe. <laughs> oh, that was disgusting. Hit I'm sorry. Thumb I would never say that ever friends. again. I apologize. <laughs> Please let us know how your sales week was. Is this like a just a situation? We were quite busy, so like I wouldn't be surprised. I really that. didn't spend hardly any time on the computer. But, like, yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like other people were busy too, and they weren't like shopping. They were shopping, but like not, not from like resale. They were kind shopping, of shopping from like. I think we're stores. in that like weird space where like people haven't like really started to like gift shop yet. Yeah. So Unless it was like Black Friday stuff. Cause like I got some of my family stuff <laughs> on Black Friday yesterday, but I haven't really started gift shopping. Well, and I feel like, like nowadays seriously. like pre owned gifts is less like frowned upon. Um, like I have a feeling some of the expensive shoes might start selling. Some I think too. some of the new tag stuff is going to start going. Yeah. Because it does every too. year. Let us know how your sales week was, wherever it be, eBay. Depop. 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 Poshmark. Whatever. And we will see you guys on Tuesday to talk about Depop. Yes, we will. And we will see the oh. Valentines on Wednesday to once again talk about Depop. Yes. And then I'm sure that I will carry the load around here for the rest of the week. Hey, I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'll i do the two I'll do the first two videos. You can do the last two. I'm still going to be in them. Well, yeah. But first I'm going to be the authority. Okay. So we will see you on Tuesday. Goodbye. Toodaloo. Toodaloo, poodles. Thank you.